Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing my handbag collection. This is kind of a very interesting video because I love handbags, I love looking up handbags, reviews, shopping for them, everything is so fun for me. But I actually don't have that many bags, I only have 8 of them and of course I did have more in the past when I was like 13, 14 but those are out of my style so I sent them over to Mexico to my family over there and yeah these are just the bags that I currently have in my collection I do plan on adding more and also selling some of these just because I don't really wear most of them but yeah I hope you guys are excited to see this video I am very excited to show you guys my handbag collection I wanted to do it in the beginning of the year so in case I buy any handbags or like sell any of them I can like do another handbag collection towards the end of the year and then you guys will be like whoa how much my collection has changed um so let's go ahead and get started so this is one of my um favorite style of bags this is the kate spade laura way greer bag as you can see this is in the nude color which online is called pumice i'm not so sure if you can order this online i actually bought this off a seller on ebay i was strictly wanting this exact same structure bag but i wanted it to be brand new like the tag still attached so um there were people that were selling it for quite a lot of money and it was like the plate here was scratched up and everything and I really did not like that so I went on a major hunt looking for it and the girl was selling it for cheaper price and like it was brand spanking new so I was like oh my gosh this is amazing so yeah I love this bag it's like a little um, crossbody bag and you could take these off on both sides and it does have this chain that you can just wear as an evening clutch or so which I've never really done that I've tried but I just can't and it's just one big opening it's really really nice and it's Safiano leather since it is cream I do try to be careful with it just because um like it does transfer you know so it hits me about right there and I think it's really really cute and um this bag is just amazing what else can i say? i also have the same one in the black color now this is my most worn crossbody bag like i am not kidding i love this bag so much this is something i would never get rid of because i really really like this i don't know if i will sell the cream one but i'm kind of iffy about it just because it's cream and i get kind of scared to wear it but i have worn that whenever i wear like you know when it's like a special occasion like a quinceanera or something and i have to wear a dress and a nice clutch and i need a cream clutch i will wear that but i've i've never worn this black one for like evening occasions like party stuff so yeah this is the same thing black i don't really like the chain being out so i keep it in here this is a bag that i um wore today it's been the bag i've been reaching for the most i have like five of these uh pulparindo candies and just all bunch of stuff you guys want to see a what's in my bag for like a smaller bag let me know in the comments down below because i have a what's in my bag but it's a louis vuitton bag and that's more stuff this is like my downsized version i really really like this because again you don't really get to worry about like transfer since it is black and it's safiano leather that's my favorite type of leather because um it's just like if you get something on it you could just like wipe it off and it comes right off and i use it so much and i don't know how this happened it's like scratched up on the plate and it's so sad because it just hurts my heart like i am very careful with my bags like i love my handbags so yeah i don't know how that happened but that's that my next bag is actually from kate spade this is a laura way evangeli i want to say and i love this bag so 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 much first of all i love the structure of it i love how it's just the whole shape of it in general i love the color scheme of it we have the black the cream and the pumice it's so beautiful it's very this is pretty much like a blush nude sort of color um it's a little dirty and i love this so much i wore this a lot in the summertime so beautiful i just don't really reach for it anymore i was thinking about selling this my sister actually wanted it and i was gonna give it to her so i looked at it a lot and i was like do i really want to get rid of you i was like so then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to give it to you because I like this bag. I was like, it, it's okay if I don't even wear it as long as I just have it like displayed. It's just so beautiful. And this I've worn a lot as well. And the plates is brand spanking new looking. Like there's no scratch on there, which I do really love. The only way I wore this in the summer was like this. Like a, you know, oh, I just, okay. I would wear it like this on the crook of my arm or like just hold it like a top handle it does come with the strap which is kind of weird because um 
it's literally sitting on the last like hole and it hits like really high up i am five six and a half i want to say and this fits me really high so i don't really like where the bag sits on my body but i just put the this cross body on here so you guys can see the way it fits but overall i love this bag as a top handle bag it looks so good this looks so good with like a white midi dress and nude heels that is the outfit for this bag like i love it and it has a black bottom which is so nice if you want to like set your bag on the table if you're out eating and stuff um i just really really love this bag i will never get rid of it and if i ever do i know i'm gonna regret cricket if i ever do sell this bag i know i'm gonna regret it and i don't know it's just so beautiful i have two michael kors bags and both of these were actually a gift from my boyfriend and this was the first one that he gave me this is a michael kors nude tote and it looks like this and it's actually a very funny story with this bag because the first bag i ever bought like let's like big girl type of bag was the exact same one like this exact same one except this was a slightly lighter color my mom actually had got me that bag as an early 17th birthday so i was like crazy about that you know because it was like my first like actual big girl bag you know like not one of those like little girl bags you know so it was like my first big girl bag and i you know then late, later met my boyfriend and we went out on our first couple of dates and that's the bag i always wore because that was like the only bag i had and so i'm pretty sure he saw it but he did not remember so a year passed and i was gonna turn 18 and for my 18th birthday he surprised me with this and i was like like did you really like the bag my mom gave me that's why you got it for me in another color and he's like you already had that bag and i was like yeah i did like you don't remember like i had the exact same bag just like a lighter color and i don't know i just thought it was so funny anyways i ended up um getting rid of my other bag but just because i didn't want to have like two bags of the same color of course i kept his because it was like newer at the time and like that other bag really had a lot of um jean marks like color transfer so this one doesn't really get much tr color transfer which is very good because it is a dark nude um it i just oh my god this bag holds so much stuff like i, I can't wow literally this was my work bag and i have my um some disinfecting wipes from chick-fil-a and i also have my um work id which, by the way, you guys, I am an avid tutor. I don't know if your school has avid, but um, I'm, an, I'm a tutor, so. So that's what I have in there. I took off everything, but this kept everything nice for me. Like, I love totes for, like, work environments just because I, my laptop fits in here, my binder, my folders, like, all the things I had to keep up with and everything fits right in here. So I really, really like that. I also like the part that it has, like, two slots right here, one and two. And there I would just keep like my lotion and hand sanitizer just because I'm really scared with like liquidy stuff. If it like spills or something, I'll be like so upset. Like no, you know? And it has also a private pocket and two more um, standing pockets right there. So I really, really like this. This is like a Vachetta sort of um, leather. So it's really, really flimsy and really comfortable because some of them do dig into your shoulders and it's like, ow, you know? This is really, really comfortable and I really like the soft leather material it is. So yeah this is my michael kors nude tote bag okay so this is my second bag and i actually got this for christmas again for my boyfriend i really like this bag at first i was like wow this is kind of different compared to something i would personally pick out because i never really gravitated towards like the prints like the actual print it has you know like this and so i was like that's gonna be kind of hard to style but actually it's really easy like it's like a natural brown so it really blends in like really goes with the outfit you know it makes it like balanced you know so yeah it has gold chains and it has this gold mk hanging just like the other one and of course on the shoulder part it does have this leather right here so it's not so hard with like the chains you know okay and then this bag has a lot of space again we have the two bags for your lotions hand sanitizer perfume and stuff and we have a big ginormous private pocket which was the best pocket for like pads and stuff like i just kept it full of pads all the time and yeah you just close it like this and this looks so so good like i need to start wearing this more often like you see that and i like how this hangs in the back so that way like people could see it or of course you have it towards the front which 
I mean, I guess it looks cute. I liked it more in the back just because it's like, oh, there she is. The Michael Kors, you know? I don't know. So, yeah, this is the second MK bag. Okay, so I'm about to show you something quite embarrassing in a way. Um, this was like my second or third, like, big girl bag, kind of, kind of, you know? Of course, I didn't want to spend, like, a lot of money, like, on a Michael Kors bag or, like, Kate Spade, you know? So I was trying to... I was trying to get a Safiano leather bag, but still at a good price. So I went to TJ Maxx and I saw this and I was like, I'm just going to buy it, you know? This was 30 bucks and it's so freaking cute and it's so dirty. Can you see that? Like, uh, I'm sorry. Like, this is so embarrassing. Like, I need to clean my bags, okay? So anyways, I got this for 30 bucks at TJ Maxx and it's basically like a white Safiano leather bag in a way. And you could wear this top handle like that or have it on your hand or you can also wear it as a cross body which was something that i really liked doing because um this bag is super duper comfortable i love wearing this in the summer because again the lighter colors but then again it also has like like that night type of look just because it's like top handle or like crooking the arm to the hand so i was actually thinking about selling this and i did post this but no one ever asked me about it so that's why i never sold it <laughs> so i was like you know what i might as well just keep it for like i don't know i think i might send this to mexico so i don't know but as you could see you guys it has a nine west chain right there and again i love these little stand-up things for my fragrances private pocket for personal needs another private pocket it's kind of like the same structure as my my course like chocolate colored bag they're pretty much the same thing um, except just different colors and brands, but it's pretty much the same uh, sort of interior in there with like the structure in a way. So yeah, this was a very, very fun bag. It was very exciting for me. I really wanted a brown bag and I ended up getting a white cream with a little bit of brown bag. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But yeah, this bag is by Nine West at TJ Maxx. Okay, so the next handbag I'm gonna show you is going to be a bag that has lots of love and lots of hate just because people are really against like the price point and everything um but this is my louis vuitton speedy this is my first louis vuitton handbag and um yeah this bag is amazing okay guys so for this bag um it pretty much is a black hole bag as many of you guys know so i did have to buy a organizer in there and then i do have a private pocket and there's not really much structure to this bag um but it's really cute and i really really like this bag and like i said it's just it's a trophy to me a lot of people even some of my family actually i have i, I want to talk today okay i'm going to tell you guys something a lot of my family and you know i'm not just the family i live with but my outside family like we're kind of shocked in a way that i purchased this super expensive bag and um you know some people were like wow did you really spend that much money some people were like wow congrats you know so it honestly just made me feel so upset because people are just kind of quick to judge in a way like uh, i don't know how to say it but like people can spend their money however they want okay like i have my cousins they like tattoos they spend their money on tattoos okay two three tattoos thousand bucks more than a thousand bucks that's the bag okay some people like to buy um i don't know beats gym membership and like a whole bunch of clothes thousand dollars like you know you can buy so many things with a thousand dollars like makeup or you know everybody has like their splurge so like i don't understand you know like people come at me like attacking me like wow you are so dumb like buying a super expensive bag and i'm like like you just spent a thousand dollars to go to a concert and meet this person for one day i get to have the bag for the rest of my life so you know like i don't understand like i'm trying not to tag certain people in this but just know everybody can spend their money however they want. I worked with this. I worked a lot for this bag. I just looked at the bag and I remember all the pain in my back that I went through to have this bag. Standing so many hours and like not being able to sit down. All the hunger I went through, cause I didn't, I didn't have time to eat lunch to keep working and stuff. So um, everybody is gonna sacrifice something in order to win something they want. And every time I look at this bag, I think of all the 
amazing things that it just makes me feel I feel like this bag just really it just I look at it and I look at it as a trophy in a way you know I don't know like I worked for this like I really did work for this like this is not daddy's money okay like I, I just don't know what to say like I just want to like I just want to like fight right now I don't know as for my last bag is something I actually want to sell but I really kind of don't but I don't, I don't know, you guys. This is a purple handbag. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren Newberry 2 collection, I want to say. And this is a purple color. They also had a brown, but I didn't know they had the brown until I looked this bag up. Like, I purchased it, and then I was like, you know what? Let me look at pictures, how to style it. I looked them up, and then the brown one came up, and I was like, wow, they had brown. I know. I don't know. So, anyways, um, this is just a purple bag, which I got last fall. It's actually really cute. Now looking at it, like, I love the structure of it. This looks so cute, so cute. So as you can see, it's just a pretty much just a hole in there. It does have my favorite, of course, um, things for your stuff and stuff. Private pocket. This is so cute. I actually took this to the gym like a few times. <laughs> to the gym. I'm not the type of girl to buy a gym bag. I will take my handbag, okay? So, yeah, it's just a purple fun color, and I bought this in the fall, so it was really nice to, like, wear because it's, like, a dark color, and it just... It's cute, and also it has this pocket right here that I was able to put my phone in and out of. I really need to wear this more. What's wrong with me? Okay, guys, so I hope you all enjoy this video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Also, um make sure you guys subscribe comment and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i was about to repeat myself again well i will talk to you all later bye